it's Laura Eubanks of Design for Serenity with your succulent tip of the day and it's groundbreaking in Chula Vista. This is a very exciting project because I met Cindy literally months ago and it has been such an undertaking for her to get all of her HOA approvals done and get her gutters in and her fences painted and her outdoor barbecue installed and she just had to check all these boxes before Team DFS could come in and work Succulent Magic. So we are going to be tackling the entire yard here, front, side, back. This is one of those jobs where we will be addressing every square inch of her property. Now I know what you're thinking. I got carried away with the boulders. They can't see them yet. Oh. I'll show them here. Okay, show them the boulders. Mm. You know, I know, I know, I know, this looks like a lot. And I am so impressed with these honey quartz boulders that I think, you know what? We should just leave them here like this. And this can just be a, uh, a big rockery. And we'll see how far we get with the HOA on that one. But anywho, you know I'm always and forever freaking out about rock and feeling like I have too much. And then as I get into it, I realize, crap, I don't even have enough. So this looks like a lot, but it's not. All right, uh, obviously the big queen palms are staying. We pulled a bunch of crap out of the front here and there was a little retaining, kind of a, a little retaining wall or a little, I guess it was just like a, a mo curb on crack right here. But I don't like that look because it cuts up the space. This is obviously a small yard. I mean, what is it like eight feet by, deep by about, probably 30 feet wide and the last thing you want to do with a space that small is cut it up so by removing that obstacle that visual obstacle we opened up a lot of space over here we are doing another shared space garden the neighbor signed off so rather than cutting this installation in half we're gonna be doing succulent work all the way from Cindy's property all the way over to the neighbor's property. So this is gonna be really, really awesome. In this trash can area, we are going to do some leveling. Um, we had a guy come ahead of us and do the demo and there was a big giant bird of paradise here it made no sense, there was no point. So that came out, we're gonna level, do weed fabric, put down some um, stabilized DG or pebble for her trash cans. There won't be any landscape back here. Hey, look, it's Team DFS. Say hello, Team DFS. Hi. You're so schluffy, good grief, oh. this way. Okay, um, here uh, was a, do you remember what was here? Some nope. sort of pavers or something. I don't even remember, but she had a pergola built. We're gonna be doing a flagstone pad underneath the pergola. And I will be um, lifting the soil level up here and creating a flagstone, organic flagstone walk path right here with plantings and boulders on either side. So that's how we'll connect that you want to flip around, Greg, and show them yeah. the sidewalk, that step down. We'll be connecting this. Anybody want some Black River Rock? They're for, they're for free. Um, this will be connecting to this via flagstone with softness on either side. We've got, uh, we've got some fresh meat with us here today. Everybody say hello to Lauren. Say hello, Lauren. Hi. Hello. We've got him digging out irrigation, digging out, um, what are they? Pop-ups. Pop-ups. Um, Greg's gonna be capping those and we'll be doing drip, subterranean drip throughout this installation. This is a huge area, believe it or not. It's probably about, kind of like the front yard, isn't it? It's about eight feet deep by about probably 20 feet wide. Over here, there's a raised bed and I'm gonna be planting a Puntia variegata or Joseph's coat. Pretty solid in that bed. I think it's gonna be very striking. 
And to soften up all this fence space, I didn't want to go over the top, so I've got some 15 gallon Petalanthus bracteus that I'm just going to splash against the fence. Um, we're not going to go thick with it though. Then over here we've got Viv working that hard rake. Say hi, Viv. Hi, I'm Emilio's friend. <laughs> uh, I love these concrete pads. They were already here. Client had these um, really cool raised beds built. I love the little joints on these. They're so cute. And she's going to be growing vegetables and herbs in those. To conceal the pool equipment, she purchased these nifty screens. Don't you love freestanding? So we'll be staging these on either side of the pool equipment to kind of smoke and mirror that. And again, this side will be minimally planted because it's not that visible. There's not that much action that occurs. Check out this Bacarnia recurvata. We're gonna be digging up this bad boy and moving it around to the uh, to the backyard where it can be appreciated. Dirt's here. It sounds like our soil's here. You wanna see? Yeah. Oh, nope, it's plants. Oh, and the soil. And the soil. You know, it's always a, you know, a cluster. He's gonna to have to move so he can back in. F, so what we have to do now is we've gotta get our, our plants to move so our 15 yards of soil can get dropped on the driveway. We'll check in with you later. This has been Laura Eubanks with Team DFS at Groundbreaking in Chula Vista and your succulent tip of the day. Sway and Emilio are working on digging out this Bacarnia recurvata. It is absolutely wasted back here in the corner of this property. I know it looks really daunting, but there's typically not much of a root system attached to these plants. So I think it'll be pretty easy to get this dug out. We are going to move it to a place of prominence in my new tapestry design.